All right, so today I'm going to be going over the two like fancy things that they outlined in the Japan Crate box. So the first one I'm going to do is we're gonna do this one. Otona no Amasa Kit Kat. This one. So let me read it to you. Story time. Kit Kat. Kit Kats. Starting off well. Kit Kats originated in England during the 1930s and made their debut in Japan during the 1970s. Since 2000, Japan has launched over 200 different flavors. Kit Kats became popular in Japan as good luck charms because the name sounds like Kitokatsu, meaning to certainly win. Ah, uh, that makes sense. All right, got it. All right. Uh, a popular phrase among students meaning they will surely pass their test. Japanese companies notice that adults and some kids don't have the taste for the sweeter flavors that younger generations enjoy, so they responded by making less sweet versions, of course. Otona no Amasa Kit Kats have a rich dark chocolate outside with the signature wafer crisps, crisps in the center. Noticeably less sweet than the original version, the ono, bleh, Otona no Amasa Kit Kats, or Black Kit Kats, as they are sometimes called, have a more refined flavor and the packaging reflects that. What did you think of the Otona no Amasa Kit Kats? Did you enjoy with a more subtle sweetness? All right. So do you guys even know like what this is for? I have no idea. It smells like dark chocolate. So, just like a regular Kit Kat, a little bit darker than usual, I guess. I'm not a regular consumer of Kit Kats, so. You should see there's a kitty right down there. She wants some chocolate, she can't have any. It's good, it's definitely, I think it's definitely something that I would eat more of because it is less sweet. I'm not one for something that's overpoweringly sweet. This is really good. Definitely be good with some coffee. Champion. Champion breakfast. All right, the next one is the Yakiniku Barbecue Japanese Style Super Heart Chipple. Summer is here. That means picnics and barbecue for a lot of us. The word Yakiniku means grilled meat. However, it is more than just that. In Yakiniku restaurants, customers can order several different types of raw meat to be brought to their table and cooked on a grill. Popular choices are cuts of beef, pork belly, chicken, and seafood, but it is not unusual to see a, di a diner order beef tongue, oh, it's so good, chicken hearts, intestines, or octa ox tail. Oh, no, thank you. Vegetables are also offered, which is a great alternative for vegetarians. Yes, and it's delicious. And a nice balance to the variety of meat. Yes, I generally end up eating more vegetables than meat during those times, but the meat's still really good. There's usually a selection of different tear, tare, or ah, it's a Japanese word. It wasn't italicized, I didn't know. There's usually a selection of different tare, or sauces, that the meat is dipped in for eating. Very true, they are delicious. Japanese yakiniku sauce typically has a base of soy sauce with sugar, rice, rice wine, garlic, and sesame mixed in. The super heart chipple in this month's crate packs a mouthful of umami flavors into a cute heart-shaped chip. Enjoy the flavor of barbecue without ever having to cook and clean up. Bonus! Not having to clean. So here's the packaging. Actually really cute. Ooh, the flavor. The flavor, the smell, the smell flavor. It's not a typical American barbecue smell. So here's the chips. They kind of remind me of like those pork skins. They're kind of, it's kind of fluffy. I don't know if it'll focus on it, but yeah. Mmm. I'm not one for chips. Oh, this is so good. Yep, I will be finishing this all by myself. Sorry, not sorry, Ted. Um, yeah, so those were the two um, specials 
for this month's Japan crate. Um, let me know if you were one of the people who got a Japan crate. Which one did you like better? I don't know. I think I think I like the chips better. I'm not much of a sweets person, so I think I like the chips better. I know. Crazy. A girl who doesn't like sweets. Alright, uh, that's it for today, and I'll see you next time. Bye!